Episode 1 of Zorro begins with an armed confrontation between a man and a couple of bandits. The sword fight would have turned tragic if not for Zorro, who intervenes at the final moment, incapacitates the bandits, and saves the day. Unfortunately, as soon as Zorro leaves, a bandit who has been hiding inside the house shoots and kills the old man. Shortly after, Zoro suffers the same fate at the hands of the governor and dies a tragic death. His last words are, Zoro will live. In addition, the governor hangs his body on a tree to make an example out of Zoro. After Zoro's death, Nalan volunteers to take the mantle of Zoro. We're taken to Madrid, Spain, and we see Diego de la Vega trying to break inside what appears to be a castle to steal a book. However, we soon find out that this is all just a training exercise. Soon, Diego is met with the tragic news of his father and returns to Los Angeles following a long voyage of six months. Diego returns to his old estate, Hacienda de la Vega, and is greeted by Bernardo. Bernardo shows Diego a newspaper that reads it was Zorro who had murdered his father. However, all of this was a lie, for Zorro is the protector of the weak. Bernardo also takes him to his father's secret hideout and tells him that Senor de la Vega was killed by hooded bandits. A few days later, Zorro pays a visit to Tadeo Marquez and her family. They're their family's old friend, and Diego asks him about Zorro. Unlike Bernardo, they blame Zorro for Senor de la Vega's death. While they're in, Diego kisses Lolita, hinting at some romantic history. Lolita makes it clear that she has no intention to get back together. While Diego sleeps, he dreams about Zorro, which sort of hints that maybe the spirit has chosen him to carry off the legacy of the masked vigilante. The chief of the tribe tells Diego that Senor de la Vaga was his people's friend and Zorro has nothing to do with his death. In addition, Diego is told that he is chosen by the spirit to become the new Zorro and is also handed Tornado, Zorro's horse, and his blade. However, when Nalan learns about it, she becomes furious and leaves the tribe. A rich man can't protect the poor and needy, Nalan says. As for Diego, he has no intention to take up the mantle and plans to find out who really killed his father. The journalist who has first written about Senor de la Vega's death asks Diego to meet him at his house. There, the journalist reveals to Diego that his father had a license to trade otter furs from San Francisco to Los Angeles, which had been seized by the governor as soon as Diego's father died. In addition, the last night's party was to seal the deal. From what it appears, the governor, Tadeo Marquez, both are involved. Eventually, Diego decides to take on the role after realizing that the only way he can find his father's killer 